SeekBuilder offers a one-step batch import of vector NTI data and protein files, as well as vector NTI database archives. To import my vector NTI sequences into SeekBuilder, I'll start by opening a new project using the File New Project command. I can set up folders to better organize my data. In this example, I'll set up two folders one for sequence files and one for primer files. To create the folders, I just right-click and choose New Folder and type in the name. I'll import my DNA and protein files by shift-clicking to select them, then dragging them and dropping them on the Untitled Project window. You can see that SeekBuilder automatically creates a sequence file for each of the vector NTI files. Next, I'll drag and drop the files into the folder I made for them. With the database archive, I'll drag and drop it right into its folder. This saves an extra step. Once I've imported my sequences, I can open them in the document window. Here, I'll open the GenBank DNA sequence named Adeno2 by double-clicking on it. To view the imported features, I can check the Features Displayed box, which is in the curtain on the left side of the screen. To see the most compact display of the features, I'm going to view the sequences as a linear map. If you're a Macintosh user, please see the SeekBuilder FAQ page of our website for special instructions on importing vector NTI files into SeekBuilder on a Macintosh computer. If you have further questions about importing vector NTI files into SeekBuilder or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.